Hi guys, Rob here and Boracay is famous for its legendary sunsets and one of the best ways to enjoy it is taking one of these bad boys out and enjoying the sunset on the way. So this afternoon I'm doing the sunset sailing. Now one thing you have to take in consideration is if you're doing this, make sure to go after 5.30 because the sun's not setting by then and you're just going to pay for an expensive suntan. So make sure it's after 5 30 then you're going to get the sun setting and the colors this is tom who i've organized the sailing with you yeah. can contact him on the number i'll put below so behind me is the boat i'm catching it's quarter to six so it's just perfect the sun hasn't quite set yet it's going to set around six six oh two something like that so i'll be able to get all the colors because the trip goes for about 30 to 40 minutes so i'll be hopefully about to get some magnificent colors while i'm sailing off into the sunset so I did this as a private solo trip. I'll show you the prices at the end of the video. So the sun is setting in front of me. The colors are starting to come out in the clouds. So hopefully gonna get some really amazing colors with this trip. The trip is just so chilled to sit back with some algae on your feet and take it all in. At sunset, it's a magical part of the day. It's not so hot out there and it's peaceful at this time of day. You can just sit back and enjoy the moment. So we're heading off into the sunset. You can see it over there in the background. It's gonna be amazing. The colors are already coming out as you can see. Three minutes it'll be sunset and then the colors will come out hopefully. This time of year, the winds blow on the other side of the islands. So here on this side, the waters are generally calm and flat. What celebrities have come on your boat? Uh, Derek Ramsey and Bikini Bilo, like that. Ah. Do they give good tips? Maybe. Maybe <laughs> big, maybe something. What were you doing instead uh, of this? Fishing and construction. Construction work? Yeah, maybe last month. So February, so yeah. February you noticed a yeah. big yeah, yeah. increase. I was coming to the realization that it may not be a gorgeous sunset tonight. So there's about 198 sailboats that take these sunset cruises, they alternate between each day, so there's about 90 something every night. So behind me you can see White Beach, the lights are coming out at the resorts. It's not quite as spectacular as I hope, but you know that's Mother Nature, it's hit and miss, you just don't know. It's just telling me if they pick up after six o'clock, there's a penalty, so they can't do a pick up before, or they can't do a pick up after six o'clock. So you have to go between 5.30 and six to get the best sunset colors although I didn't quite get the colors I was hoping for it was just still nice to be out in the ocean the only risk you run is it's first in first serve so it's possible you may miss a boat if you're trying to get that perfect timing so that's one thing you do have to watch knowing my luck they'll get amazing sunset colors tonight so it's about 5 30 these boats are going to get the good sunset colors hopefully there's a ton of boats already out there they left much earlier so they're going to miss it by the time they come back. As you can see behind me, these are the first runs coming back. So they've all missed the beautiful sunset colours. So don't go early on these runs. Unfortunately, the touts, they're just after you get your money. And you know, if they can get two groups out in one night, it's more money for them or more money in their pockets. This is the second run there, reloading the boats with new guests and it's quarter to six so these later runs will get the better colors in the sunset of course the next day after i've done the sunset tour if i'd done it tonight the colors would have been so much better but it was fantastic to be a spectator on the beach to witness all these amazing colors looks gorgeous huh so not only can you do sunset sails you can sail around the island yeah. How long does that go for? Sorry? How, how long is that? Two hours? Three hours. Three hours to go around the island. And roughly how much? Uh, 3,000. Roughly about 3,000. Or you can go to, what was the island? Bung 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 if you want to contact me directly, I'll put him his number in the description below. I'll take your mask off so I can see where you look. Hi. Hello, welcome to Boracay. So those tourists are going out already. It's only quarter to five, so they're not going to get the sunset. They're just going to get maybe sunburn. Another group going at 
10 to 5. So it was around 50 years ago that Rod Stewart was here in Boracay and he was inspired to write one of his best selling singles ever, Do You Think I'm Sexy? So in my opinion, the best colours come out after the sun has set and you see all those pascally colours in the clouds. This is my third time out, hence my different colour top. I'm trying to get the perfect sunset photos for the vlog before I release it. So this is Stefan, a crew member of a boat called Adventure. So if you want to contact him directly, cut out the middleman, you can contact him and organize a sailboat. So I'll put his number down in the description below. So in Tagalog, these boats are actually called a what? Parao. And that's a traditional boat? This is the, the traditional boat, yes. In the Philippines. Before motor bangka, this is the only way of transportation here. Actually three spots that you can pick up these sailboats. This is at station one at the moment, then there's station two, and there's station three. So depending on where you stay, you can just do the sailing from that area. Now, if you know how to sail, the captain may even let you have a go. Overall, it's a great thing to do in Boracay, especially if you get some awesome sunsets. It is pricey, but unfortunately that's with everything in Boracay. On screen are the rates for the activities. So obviously the touts add their commission on top of that. If you are looking for some handy information on Boracay, check out this Facebook page. It's really informative. If you want to check out some of my other videos I've done on Boracay and in the Philippines, just click on one of the videos now. I'll be doing tons more videos on Boracay in upcoming videos, so please subscribe for that. Until then, keep safe out there and I'll catch you next time. Cheers.